This is Clonard, which is a 46-foot Canal Transport Services traditional narrowboat. Uh, Canal Transport Services, Dennis Cooper was the man. They were highly regarded boats in their day, and although this is an older boat, it's a very delightful boat with lots and lots of character. You've got a well deck here in the bow with two lockers there, upholstered so you can sit comfortably, and a cratch cover in very good condition over the top of it to keep it weatherproof. And this drops down into a galley. Uh, where in many boats you might expect the saloon to be. The galley comes first here. All the usual fittings, stainless steel sink, fridge, gas cooking, etc. Plenty of cupboard space as well. It's a, a well thought out boat, this. Spinning round in its open plan, you have the saloon area towards the centre of the boat. There's a range there on a tiled hearth. The, it's a rather delightful sort of Victorian style fireplace, really. And those ranges, well, fantastic. Heat, cooking, keeping a kettle on the go, they're perfect for all of that. And I speak from first-hand experience of having had several boats with them on. At the end of there you've got a wardrobe hanging space. And that's spinning round looking back down the saloon through to the galley. Also built-in seating here and there's that range again and more freestanding seating as well. You might have seen an object on the wall there, that's a wall-mounted gas heater, rather like caravans used to have but I don't think they really use it anymore but uh, the boat has passed boat safety on a number of occasions ever since the scheme came in in 96 so plainly it's uh, a working model. Next to this you have the bedroom area, you've got a permanent double berth in here. And then beyond that you have the shower room area, it's a porta potty cassette WC there, shower tray, basin in the corner. All the woodwork you can see is piranha pine, which mellows into a rather rich, almost reddish colour as time goes on. That's exactly what's happened here. Finally, you have the engine room. Underneath the board there is a chunky Perkins MC42. There's more than enough oomph to take this boat just about anywhere. And there's the control panel. And there's the stern back panel could do with repainting. I can admit to that, but all of this is reflected in what I think is an extremely good price for a, a quality boat such as this. And that is Clonard for a brochure uh, to view a layout plan and a photo gallery of some 16 photos. Please go to rugbyboats.co.uk.